Hey everyone, several months ago I purchased the 2025 M4 Max Apple Mac Studio. I switched over from a desktop Windows PC and it has been a fantastic purchase. I use this for everything. It is my main computer. I'm using it for recording right now. I use it for video editing, storage, browser, watching things. It's just been an amazing purchase and I'm really happy with it. But I am experiencing a frustrating ongoing Thunderbolt 5 connection issue. And that's what I want to talk about today because it's not something Apple disclose. It's something it's quite hard to find information about. And I'm not seeing a lot of YouTube reviews of the Mac Studio reference this problem. And it is a problem. And it is something that Apple should be better at, disclosing the limitations which their computers have. Because this is a Mac Studio issue, you know, that I'm dealing with. But this is an issue that a lot of other Apple Mac users will face as well. There are a lot of other situations where this can arise. Okay, I'll explain the problem first and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you some things in the browser to kind of you know, clarify what's going on. So Apple Mac Studio on top, underneath we have what is a new product for me. This is a, a RayQ Thunderbolt 5 Hub. And this has kind of confirmed the issue for me. It's not the source of the issue. Uh, it did kind of pop up before. But what's going on here is I've got the hub here and then it, the, the two front Type-C connections are my Elgato capture cards, which I'm using right now. I'm using one of them right now. Now, previously, when I got the, the Mac Studio, I had those connected at the back alongside this. This is my Thunderbolt 5 cases enclosure. I've actually got a few of these and they are fantastic. So I, I use this I'm actually recording to this right now. I use it for storing video files and different things uh, for time machine backups and whatnot. And it's been great. Now, the other thing here, this is a, a new purchase. This is a, a Type-C cable that goes to a monitor, which is off just now. And this is off because of the issue. Okay, so at the back here, we've got the four Thunderbolt 5 ports. And sorry, I'm getting really bad with the camera angles here. So you can see there's two cables here. One is for the enclosure and the yellow data cable there that goes from this Thunderbolt 5 hub into the Mac Studio. And it is just a data cable. It's an 80 gigabits per second connection, this yellow cable here at the back. Uh, it doesn't draw any power from the Mac Studio because I'm providing 65 watts to the hub itself. So it doesn't need any USB bus power from this Mac Studio. So that's the setup. So what's going on? Well, I've got four Thunderbolt 5 ports, four 80 gigabits per second ports, and I should be able to use all of them. Well, that's what Apple say. You can use all of them. But the issue that I've got is that, yes, I can connect one Thunderbolt 5 connection, like an enclosure or a hub, but when you add another one, then I can't use the other ports. So I can use, for example, that USB hub, that hub that's sitting underneath my Mac Studio. I can use that alongside two Elgato capture cards and I can use the, the data cable to my monitor. That's all good. But if I try and connect two Thunderbolt 5 uh, connections, then I've used up all the bandwidth. That's basically what's going on. If we jump over to the browser, you'll see this year's, or last year's, sorry, version of the Mac Studio it is still the current version of the Mac Studio. And I have the cheaper option. I've got uh, this version, the £2,000, uh, £2,099 pounds, uh, version. And there is a, a, a more powerful option. Now, if you go down here and we look down here, you'll see the connections. And um, four Thunderbolt 5 USB-C ports with support for Thunderbolt 5 up to 120 gigabits per second. Now, I'm sure you're already aware of this, but Thunderbolt 5 is an 80 gigabits per second connection, but it does allow up to 120 and 40. You can kind of switch around how the bandwidth is, is managed. So it says that, and, and you know, from a connection point of view, the, the key thing here is at the front of my M4 Max, I've got two 10 gigabits per second connections. But on the M3 Ultra version, it's Thunderbolt 5 port, so you know it's obviously more powerful. Okay, so that's the official, you know, that's the official specs. That's what Apple tell you. There's no other information there. There's nothing there about limitations. But when I was, you know, chatting to my 
friend over at ChatGPT, um, it was highlighting a lot of issues here. And if I, sorry, sorry I should have scrolled to the right part here. Um, it was highlighting some things. And one of the things it highlights was that the Apple Mac Studio only has two Thunderbolt 5 controllers. And you, know, you can see it's labeled here, controller A, controller B. And yes, I know sometimes uh, ChatGPT and other AI services can be unreliable, but this is on the money because that's that explains exactly what's going on here. I've got two Thunderbolt 5 controllers there at the back, four ports sharing two controllers. And, and that's what's going on. If I try to connect anything else, well, there's no data left. And that, that's what's going on. And I did try some of his suggestions, you know, connect things in different orders and different things, but it, I still ran into the same issue. Sometimes my monitor, my new um, Arzopa monitor would switch off, but alarmingly, the bigger problem was that my main Acasis enclosure would disconnect sometimes. It was disconnecting all the time. And that's not drawing a huge amount of power through its USB connection. Now the M3 Ultra version of the Mac Studio has a lot more bandwidth. It's got six Thunderbolt 5 ports, but it's got four Thunderbolt controllers. So it's a lot more bandwidth for Thunderbolt, but the computer does cost around twice the price. Now there are other people talking about this. You'll see a lot of discussions on Reddit about it and people are facing the same problem. And you can see here, connect two or three SSDs first and then the monitor and then, you know, people are talking about it. There's another discussion about it here and I'll link to these so that you can look at it yourself, but you, you'll see the same thing here. Um, and this comment says it's a well-known issue for Apple desktops. Despite Apple advertising them as Thunderbolt 4 or 5, they don't always meet the power requirements of supplying 15 watts to external unpowered devices. Now, that suggests it's a, a power issue. And I'm not ruling out it could be a power issue because, you know, if you try to connect three or four devices, that could be a factor. But to me, it seems more like a data issue because when I connect that USB hub, that is self-powered. I don't think it's drawing any additional power from the Mac Studio. But if you look on this, you, you'll see a lot of people with the same issue. And they're just talking about, uh, I can't find the comment here, but there's someone that says that they can connect two enclosures, Thunderbolt 5 enclosures, but they can't connect anything else. And that's effectively what's going on here. I bought this Mac Studio and, you know, I looked at the specs before. I wasn't aware of how many Thunderbolt controllers were in there. But Apple market this as if, you know, you've got four Thunderbolt ports. And I looked at that thinking, wow, I've got four Thunderbolt ports. Uh, I can connect multiple Thunderbolt enclosures, multiple Thunderbolt hubs, and I can connect everything that I want. Now, this isn't just an Apple problem. This is something that happens in the Windows world as well. And that what's happening is that com computing companies just don't tell you what's going on behind the scenes. They don't tell you the limitations. This was something I faced Many years ago, I did videos about this, got several years ago, um, with Windows laptops where, you know, I was filling up the USB root hub maximum bandwidth because like, I connected too many capture cards. And it's a similar problem here. Effectively, you know, the, there's enough bandwidth for two Thunderbolt 5 devices or one Thunderbolt 5 connection and three, you know, kind of lighter connections, you know, maybe two Thunderbolt 4 connections or, or maybe, um, you know, a few 10 gigabits per second connections. But for me, it's been an issue because all of the connections I've got there, and I do have a lot of connections at the back, I've got a lot of, you know, I've, got, I've basically used up every single port at the back there. Um, all of them, all of those are used here for my webcam, my overhead camera, for my main camera here, etc. So I'm, I'm, I'm using a lot of things here, but those things don't take up a lot of bandwidth. My cameras take up five or 10 gigabits per second. That's the bandwidth that it takes up. The big, big issue here that I'm facing is Thunderbolt 5 connections. So in an ideal world with four Thunderbolt 5 ports, I could connect two or three of these SSDs and I could connect multiple Thunderbolt 5 um, hubs or whatever, but I can't do that. I'm limited to two devices. And I've did a lot of testing with this and that seems to be what I'm limited to. So I'm going to have to sit here now with two USB connections, just, you know, two Thunderbolt 5 connections, sorry, just sitting there empty, not being used. There, there are ways for me to work around this. I can connect my Samsung monitor, uh, sorry, Samsung, my Azopa monitor using HDMI. 
I can you know connect other things through the hub. But I think I'm going to have to maybe look at a, a different option. Maybe I, I buy a Thunderbolt 5 hub and run my cases through that so that I can have different options when I'm recording. But I wanted to illustrate this issue because it is an issue. It's an issue that Apple are not disclosing. They're not talking about it. Most people are not talking about it. And similar problems are there with the Mac Mini, with MacBook Pros and all that as well. I think most people don't realize it's there because they're not pushing it in the way that I am. I'm connecting a lot of SSDs, I'm connecting a lot of cameras, etc. But those limitations are there. And it's annoying that companies like Apple don't disclose it. So I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear from all of you that have experienced this issue or faced this problem. I'm sure, you know, depending on your setup, you've maybe came across this issue before. But for those of you who were not aware about it, hopefully you do know about it now. Because I do think with things like this, this annoys me a lot because when you're spending thousands of pounds on a computer and they're saying, you know, you've got four Thunderbolt 5 ports, well, you know, they're marketing it as if you can connect four Thunderbolt 5 devices and you can't. You can connect them, but only two will work. And that's obviously not practical. I just wish companies were a little bit more transparent about the limitations of what's going on inside, you know, the limitations of uh, the, the motherboard, the limitations of the chip. As, you know, it's, 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 it's an uphill struggle. This is something that all companies do. But anyway, over to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and as always, leave a comment. And until next time, take care.